Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and in this episode, we'll be just modeling a nut bolt. For this approach, I'll be using AutoCAD 2015. Okay, you can do of course unit setup by typing U and in the command box and as you can see the dialog box of unit setup appeared and you can do unit setup, length, angle, etc. This time I'm gonna let these guys by default. Okay, I'll be just drawing a polygon, you can say up six sides this time and I'm gonna type E per edge and then I'm gonna specify the first endpoint of the edge and then 10 units which just uh, specify the, the second point or you can say the edge length and that's okay. Now next I'm going to draw a circle by typing C and then I'm gonna specify the center point which is going to be the, the center between these two edges because I want the hexagon to be inscribed in the circle. As you can see this one, okay? And then another circle having radius equals five units. Okay, that's great. So, so far we got this one and then I'm gonna switch into Southwest 3D view and I'm gonna extrude because we are modeling, okay? You can type ext in the command box in order to, to load the extrude command or functionality of an AutoCAD and press enter and I'm going to select each of them okay these objects and then press enter okay it is asking for the height I'm gonna say 10 units that's pretty good and the the 2d wireframe into the shaded uh, you can say realistic is okay for this time all right now I'm gonna uh, you can say uh, fillet these edges like you can say uh, just type F in the command box and then the radius okay you can say r and i'm gonna say the radius is going to be two units and i'm going to select this edge and two is already loaded and another edge which is this one and space that's great now you can type intersect in the command box and press enter now i'm going to select this cylinder and of course this polygon you can say both are cylinder does not matter okay press enter so it is now intersected that's pretty amazing okay now i'm going to take its copy you can say like that just by co and now i'm going to subtract this cylinder from the outside you can say okay so su i'm gonna select this one space and the internal one so you can say it you can just of course see it that's pretty amazing okay this is called a nut okay uh, you can change the view like anyone that's i think uh i'm okay with this shades of gray what do you say that's pretty amazing okay great okay next i'm gonna just press full this face okay the the face of this cylinder and you can just click this icon or you can type press in the command box okay sorry press full that's the total spinning and press enter now it is asking to select object or just bounded area and that's okay i'm gonna select this one and let's say the height is going to be uh, 10 units no not 10 units i'm gonna say 30 okay so that's it 30 units okay next i'm going to draw a helix you can type H E L I X for the helix in order to load that application. Okay, press enter and it is asking to specify the center point of the base. That's great. I'm gonna say the base is going to be the center of this cylinder. Just click it and it is asking for the radius. So I'm gonna click the other edge that can take the, the radius is the you can say the radius of the cylinder. That's great. And now it is asking to specify the top radius. The same thing, I'm gonna click this edge again. That's good. Okay, that that's pretty amazing. Now another thing, they are asking to specify the helix height. You can also enter the turns, the turns height. This time it's okay. I'm gonna say uh, 30 is the, but I'm going to say minus 30 because I'm going down. Okay, minus 30. That's great. As you can see, that helix. That's pretty amazing. Okay, but I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy with this helix. So I'm gonna change its properties. Just select that and control one. 
so it can bring of course the helix properties we can say okay by control one wait a minute where is it uh 2d wireframe and select the helix you can see these properties i'm going to change the turns into you can say 20 and press enter as you can see pretty amazing okay i'm happy with that you can do it um, just uh, you can follow your designs measurements or your designs parameter this time i'm okay with that another thing i'm gonna draw a circle okay uh, approximately uh, you can say uh, 0.5 units that's okay i'm happy with that now next i'm going to type sweep in the command box and I'm going to say I'm going to sweep this object or this circle okay press enter and along this helix bam okay that's done I think okay let me switch again into date that's pretty amazing okay it's already done now next I'm going to subtract this helix from this slender okay so su space and I'm going to select this slender space and then this helix space okay that's done it is very nice you can see it okay let me just uh, switch it into realistic and now by 3d orbit you can see it that's pretty amazing okay now next i'm going to just bring this thing over there by uh, clicking that point and just move it okay nothing is uh, so complicated over here now i have moved it and i can just uh, move it little up like that that's good okay little more now okay so that's our nut board which one is okay uh this one is okay all right so that's it okay this is how we can just uh, model a nut board but this time I, I just put all the values by default uh, not by default actually um, those were just assumptions okay you can put all those values according to your design according to your design parameters that's it hey if you like these types of videos please hit that subscribe button press the bell icon so you never miss an update from engineer boy